What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this really cool little JavaScript Pong game. Um, so let's just hop right into it. As you can see, we've got the heading up here. We've got the paragraph telling the user what to do. And uh, so yeah, they can press any key to begin and obviously the game will start here. Now you'll notice the uh, ball is, con oh, sorry, the paddle is controlled with the arrow keys and the ball will bounce off either paddle um, as it goes across the screen. Now you guys aren't actually controlling the right side of the screen. This is just the computer. Um, so so yeah, we'll be able to program that in our JavaScript as well. Um, that'll be a bit later on in the video. And yeah, you'll notice the balls bounce off easily and they'll hit the sides of the canvas as well. And my score will increment as I score more points. And you'll notice here when I score the fifth point, we will progress into the next round and the background color will change to let us know that we are going up a level basically. And when we do go up a level, the computer will eventually get faster and the ball will get faster as well, making it a little bit harder for us to progress through the levels. Now, as we get higher up in the levels, guys, you've got to score less and less points to win. As you can see, when we get to the final level here, you, all you need to do is score two points to win. Obviously, it will be a bit harder because the computer will be a bit faster and the ball will be faster. But when you do, you'll notice there that uh, the winner message will come up in the middle of the canvas as well, letting you know that you have won. So yeah, guys, that is basically it. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop straight into the HTML. This is just a quick example here um, to show you guys that when the computer does score, their score will increment as well. So it's not completely uh, in your favor, basically. So it is actually quite a bit of a challenge to win this game. So yeah, without further ado, guys, let's hop straight into our project. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is hop into our VS Code and we're going to create a folder and call it Pong. Inside that folder, we're going to create an index.html file and using our Shift-1 shortcut keys, we're going to create a quick boilerplate HTML template and that is just going to uh, pop up for us here now and we can change the title very easily. We're just going to call it Pong Game. And then the first thing we're gonna do guys is we're gonna create a style element in between our head and our body tags of our HTML. This is because we don't have much CSS today in our program. So instead of creating a whole separate file for our CSS, we're just gonna include it in our actual HTML file. Now, the first thing we're gonna do inside our style elements is uh, import our Google font. So I'm gonna be using a font called Poppins today. Uh, you can use whatever you like. This is just what I like to use. Um, you can copy this URL um, letter for letter as well if you like, if it makes it easier for you. Um, or you could go to the website and choose your own font, but it's totally up to you. All right, after that guys, the first thing we're gonna do is target all our HTML elements and we're going to give them a font family of Poppins. So that is the font that we just uh, connected to on our Google Fonts. Um, and we're gonna give it a backup of uh, just our normal sans serif font. Now that is gonna make sure that if our Poppins font isn't connected, uh, the sans serif will be the backup and that is what we'll see. So after that guys, we're gonna target the body tag and give it a text align of center. We're also gonna give it a background color of ghost white. And now we're also gonna give it a display of flex and we're gonna justify the content to be in the center of the page. We're gonna align our items and put them in the center and we're gonna give it a height of the entire vertical uh, height of our window. We're gonna give it a flex direction of column as well as a position of fixed and our width will be 100%. So after that, guys, we're going to hop straight into the actual HTML. We're going to go into the body tag here and create a H1 element and just call it Pong Game. We're then going to create a canvas element and we're just going to leave that for now because we don't need to do anything. That's going to be more for our JavaScript. So we'll just leave that for now. We will create a quick uh, paragraph element underneath here and we're just going to write a quick instruction thing for the player to... Um, uh, just read before they actually start the game. So uh, you can put whatever you like in there, but I'm just putting this quick text here. All right, guys, after that, we're going to link our JavaScript file down the bottom here, making sure that our file name is the same as the uh, source name that we have given it down here in the bottom of our HTML. That is very important. Otherwise, we're not going to have any functionality in our HTML. So once that's done, guys, you're going to want to come down here as well, and you're going to want to open your live server. So we're going to see what we have so far without the JavaScript. So this is what we've got. We've got the Pong game here as our heading, and we've got our paragraph here telling the user what to do when the game starts. Obviously, we don't have a canvas yet because we haven't started our JavaScript, but we are going to hop into that uh, in a second. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to speed up the video. It's going to take a while if I'm going to be explaining line for line, and this video will probably be up to an hour long. So um, I'm going to speed it up. If you guys want to slow it down at any point, feel free to. And uh, yeah, I guess just grab something nice, grab a coffee or something, and get ready to code along with me. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Alright guys, that is it for our JavaScript. So that's our entire project finished now. As you can see, when I open up the live server here, uh, the game is playing perfectly. You just click any key to start the game and when the AI scores, their point will increment by one. And when you score, your points will increment by one. Um, yeah, obviously I showed the demo at the start, so if you guys want to go and check that out as well again, um, feel free to. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a cool little JavaScript program that I found. I'm going to link the original uh, source in the description below as well as put it on my GitHub. So uh, yeah, feel free to check that out whenever you like. And if you did enjoy the video, guys, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And I guess until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.